Fight Journal podcast uh, presented by Yo Kratom. I've been a little bit, a little bit of a hiatus on the pod just because a lot of things have been sort of uh, just crazy right now with Skank Fest coming up and um, us playing Carnival of Combat, all the things that are going on surrounding this. Um, yeah, it's just a, a lot. So obviously, I have Paco filming the fight journals. But the, uh, the podcast, uh, yeah, I just had a, a couple weeks to take off. So, yeah, we're back. Right now, I am heading into the city to go to do the Real Ass Podcast. And, um, yeah, we're going to be training right after this. I'll give you an update as to sort of where my training is going and what we're doing. Um, first of all, shout out to Zia Farms, Zia Extraordinary Farms. They are officially my fight sponsor for this um, fight. Yeah, they're, they're sending me a bunch of gear, and they have a really, really great products. so check out Z Extraordinary Farms. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm uh, the, the training has been going really, really well. Um, I'm very light right now. I weigh 206 pounds as of this morning. Um, I'm not, like, freaking out about the, the weight. You know, I'll, I'll go three or four days on where I'm being pretty strict with my diet and then I'll have like a meal or something that you know to because I don't I don't need to to freak out about the diet anymore which is great um yeah and the the training itself has uh, I'm doing no weight training at all um I am incorporating a little bit of like uh calisthenics and a little bit of uh, body weight stuff like pull-ups and dips push-ups um just some ab stuff um, you know, but really it's running and boxing. That's really it. Uh, you know, running to keep the weight off. Um, and, and obviously just putting a lot of time in boxing, a lot of time in sparring, more time in sparring than I've ever, ever before. Um, and I feel good. I'm not getting like, I'm not getting hit a ton in sparring. Um, and I'm not just sparring with Harrington and Paco and Dylan. Uh, I joined a, a gym much closer to my house. I was at a gym in North Bergen, which was great, um, but it was a little bit far, and I was just moving a little bit slow. I feel like I, I feel like my progression, I should have been prog- uh, progressing a little bit faster. The coach that I was working with, he was fucking incredible. He really was great, but it was like, it was almost like he was trying to like build a fighter from the ground up like a kid, you know, and it was like, I needed to just move a little bit more and, and move a little bit faster. So, um, uh, there was a, a guy who hit me up who, has trained with Diego before. He's, he's a boxer and he's a big fan of what we do. Uh, shout out to Jason. And uh, he was like, yeah, you got to come work with us over here. So this place is like sparring all the time. A lot of guys that are into fighting, that are boxing, either professionally, semi-pro or amateur. Um, so I'm getting a lot of different looks, which is really good. Um, just being more comfortable. Being comfortable with a brand new person. You know, being comfortable with uh, somebody who's moving in a new way. Um, and yeah, I, I feel... You know, I feel really good about it. My knee isn't great. Um, it's not bad when I'm moving. When I when I'm either running or in the gym, um, it feel once I warm up, it feels great. I feel really good. I feel really loose, running three four miles at a clip. But when I'm like lying in bed, it just starts to stiffen up. And when I'm sort of walking around the house and walking up and down the stairs, um, that's when I, I start to, to feel it. So once this fight is over, I'm definitely going to have to go back in and, and see what's going on with my knee. Um, both my knees have always been, you know, an issue or not always, but recently have been an issue. So um, without a doubt, I'm going to have to do something, probably get another knee scope and, you know, hopefully not re-damage them this time by jumping back into jiu-jitsu or training heavily, you know, too heavily, too quickly. But, um, yeah, the the work that I'm putting in right now, I, I'll tell you, I learn more from sparring than I learn from anybody else. And I'm still working. I go to Diego twice a week right now. I'm going to Diego's after the Real Ass Podcast today. Me and the team are meeting up in Brooklyn. We're going to go to Diego's. We're going to get some great work in. Um, and I got a coach that I'm working with in Jersey. Incredible work. But the, the the most the most that I get out of anything is just sparring with other guys that are knowledgeable, that will sort of give you little tips and tricks in real time, applying them in real time. Um, that's the most I've progressed since I've started doing this. And 
I feel pretty good. Um, I'm, you know, all the other shit. Like, I, I you know, I, I want to do other stuff. Like, you know, you want to, like, lift some weights just to, like, look better, you know? But I, um, I'm really, my body is just really being, like, adapted to this type of training now. And I can go. I mean, I feel like uh, me and Butterly haven't officially decided on what the um, what the the rounds and the time limits and all that are. We haven't we we we've talked about it. We talked about three two minute rounds. We talked about three three minute rounds. I don't know. I'm thinking about pushing three three minute rounds. I feel pretty good right now. My cardio is really good. I still have another like five or six weeks. Before we actually have the fight. Hold on one second. Go this way. Sorry. I didn't know um, if they wanted me to go upper level or lower level on the bridge, but not what I'm gonna do. I'll finish up this. I'll finish up this little mini pod. Um <clears throat> So yeah, I, I'm, 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 we're going to debate on that, I guess. We're going to talk about that. We have, this is Skankfest week as well, which is the biggest thing in the fucking world. So we're going to be doing some cool stuff at Skankfest. And, um, you know, we have a press conference specifically for Carnival of Combat. And uh, I think we're going to be discussing that and making some decisions with the fans. Um, because I know like Harrington's fight and Paco's fights, all those fights are two two-minute rounds with a third two-minute round for overtime if it needs be, if uh, we need a third round. But uh, me and Butterly is the main event. I think we should do three three-minute rounds. I think it's a smarter way to do it. Um, and I feel like I could do that right now. And we still got a lot of time. I'm just, we're just getting started, baby boy. Let's go. I'm in, I'm in good shape going into the actual training camp, so i to wrap things up in a massive, massive way. But at Skankfest, uh, if you guys are going to be there, we're going to be doing the press conference. We have open workouts. Team Rattlesnake open workouts, I think, are 2 p.m. on Saturday. Me, Paco, Harrington, Dylan, uh, Justin Silver is going to be holding mitts for us. We have a couple special surprises, a couple special guests that are going to be coming out and working out with us as well. So if you're at Skankfest, you get to hang out with us. And then also, I'm going to be doing some working out as well. So, um... Maybe I'll do it Saturday. I don't know. I actually want to get like a real workout. And there's a couple gyms in, in Vegas that I've worked out at that maybe I'll, I'll see if there's a few fans that have some sparring experience that can come in and train a little bit. Because I'd love to get some training in on Thursday and Friday for sure. Once the weekend starts going at Skankfest, and I am drinking this weekend. I haven't been drinking. <clears throat> Um, for the most part, I drank a little wine this weekend, but um, I, I've been—I've really cut back on the drinking in like massive, massive ways. And uh, obviously, it's Gangfest. I'm going to be drinking. So I think once Saturday, Sunday hits, when I'm heavily drinking, since I haven't been drinking, I think it's going to be a little bit difficult on the body. I'll probably want to take off training on Saturday and Sunday. But if you guys are coming to Gangfest and you want to fucking train with Team Rattlesnake on Thursday, Friday morning, I guess. 9 a.m. ish on both Thursday and Friday morning. Um, I'll, I'll be. I'll, I'll figure out where the gym is going to be, but without a doubt, send me a DM or hit me up or, or figure it out. Figure out a way to get in contact with me if you have some experience. Only if you have some experience. This isn't for fucking just anybody. I want some people that that can actually move around a little bit and we can, you know, learn a little bit from each other. Um, without a doubt, hit me up because I'll have the team, but. I'll rent a gym or something and we'll have some access to some equipment and move around a little bit and, you know, actually get a good sweat on because Skankfest weekend, we fucking party, doggies. We fucking party. And I think Tim Butterly, they're going to be doing an open workout on Sunday. So I'm going to come out and fucking meme mug everybody. Team Rattlesnake, we're going to come out like Cobra Kai and fucking stare everybody, stare everybody down and be like, all right, motherfuckers, let's go. No, this is it. Now it's time, doggies. So, all right, this is it. Glad to have this Fight Journal podcast. We're back onto it, babies. We're actually training regularly now. No big trips coming up. Nothing. We're just fucking going to go. So thanks for watching. Shout out one more time to your parade. I'm home the $60 kilo. Support them because they support everything we do. And I'll check you guys next week. Fight Journal podcast. Peace.